This season on Mountain Men, Tom battles another winter. It's a big gamble. And I'm trying to work as hard as I can. There's track here. But loses the fight. I don't look like we're going to get a bear this year. I don't know what I'm going to do now. Eustace expands for the future. Here she is, boys. We spend a year putting a lot of energy into raising these hogs. I mean, we've got hundreds of pounds of meat here. We've got to have good salt to be able to cure the meat out. And Marty must restart again and again. I just got to keep trapping. Giving up's not an option. It was too much invested already. But perseverance brings reward. Martin, they're moving again. Very nice. miles south of the Arctic Circle. It's easy to miss the arrival of spring in the unique climate of Alaska's Revelation Mountains, where frigid temperatures and deep snow can linger well into April as the rest of America warms up. But the cold is just what Marty Majorato comes here for, because the longer the winter, the bigger his payday. Not that long ago, I was starting to think that the whole season was going to be a bust. But the machine broke down. I almost called it. I'm glad I did. It paid off. That's a nice one. Real nice one. Marty's been making up for lost time, pulling in a steady haul for the last three weeks since returning with a more powerful snow machine. His new expansion line cuts through the most promising country he's ever trapped here in the Revelations. Nice. The country around Hesperus is producing a good, stable martin population. It's been pretty consistent for a while now. It just doesn't seem like it runs out of fur. It feels good at the end of the day that you've worked putting in a new section of line or a new set and uh, a good, successful day of traffic. All right. If I could, I'd just stay out here, but it's time to go home. Good day. The record yield here combined with his take from his original trap line in the Alaskan interior, is enough to turn a profit and pay off a portion of his investment in the new snow machine. I got a big machine that's built for the task of this country. I've got a cabin. I have two working trap lines. There was a lot of things that had to come together this year, and they did. It's pretty much a turnkey operation now. You can't ask for more than that. Tomorrow, Marty will leave the Revelations and return to his family in Two Rivers with another successful season under his belt. To do something that maybe you didn't think you could do, but then all of a sudden you do it. This is a big accomplishment, but for me it's the doing, not the being done. That's what life's all about for me. Being in nature and Never knowing what's around the next corner, that's where I feel like I'm meant to be. In Montana's Ruby Valley, the first day of spring ushers in a time of renewal and rebirth. And for Rich Lewis, nature's cycle of life and death has just hit close to home. Ruby, you've been a good dog. Ruby had puppies and she had some problems. We rushed her to the vet and uh, Ruby died on the operating table. She had eight puppies. We saved four of them. The vet did a heck of a job saving them puppies. Six-year-old Ruby was a core part of Rich's hunting team. Hand-reared and trained from birth to stand her ground against the largest of predators. When I'm running a lion and, you know, after a few hours in the race, she was kind of my running back. She'd just, she'd go a mile away. She was going to be at the tree. Can't say good enough about Ruby. Gonna miss you. 